17-year-old female, uh, restrained driver in a head-on collision, major intrusion to both vehicles. Uh, we do have a death on scene in the same vehicle compartment. Um, driver of the vehicle is apparently drunk. We just did have prolonged education. Uh, we got bruises to her. Arresting for driving under influence. We're gonna take a drive up the hill. Be booked. Plaster County Jail. suddenly in a tragic alcohol-related car accident on November 16th, 2010. Yeah, you open your eyes. Hey. Hey, drive in a car under the influence of anything if something like this could actually end up happening. Like this is realistic. This is not like some over exaggerated thing that we're doing to scare people. It's not meant to do that. It's meant to like show like our school like the realisticness of what actually could happen. And it 
it is scary. It's not something that should be taken lightly. I already think, you know, if I ever find out that someone who's drinking and drive, I just think it's pathetic. I think it's stupid. And, like, I mean, we've already had, like, a girl die at our school. Like, Courtney Parker, like, are you serious? Like, if somebody actually does that, like, that's just ridiculous. It's stupid. It's something that no one should think, you know, is okay. It's something that, honestly, it's not about you anymore. It's about, like, other people's lives, too. It, I think it hit me a lot more realizing, like, okay, people that I know go through this kind of stuff. This is one time just being stupid, getting behind the wheel and, you know, crashing your car. And, I mean, killing people. The jail was something I'd never seen before, and that was a process I'd never been through. It was kind of, it just scared me because they don't, they don't, they don't really care about you. And the thing is, you forfeit all of your rights when you go in that place, and you're really in their world. And uh, I, I remember I just, I sat down, they made me strip down and put on the orange jumpsuit, and they sat me in my cell with a blanket with, you know, no bed, no chair, nothing, just cinder block walls and said, you'll dump when I tell you to dump, you'll eat when I tell you to eat, and then slam the door. And that's basically the worst feeling ever. Don't get in the car with someone who's drunk. That is so stupid. Because um, kids are going to drink regardless. Kids are always going to be drinking. Kids always drink. I mean, it just just what people think is fun, and I don't think that's really going to stop, and that was never the point of this. It's really just taking a couple seconds and thinking through what you're doing and not getting behind the wheel, uh, even if you've had a sip of alcohol. Um, I've been to parties where like, my friends have drunk drive driven, and it's just been a huge impact on everyone. Like Some of my friends have like screamed, and like some of my friends aren't friends with people that have done it, and it's just like it's a huge deal. Kids are still going to drink, so make sure you have a DD who's not going to take a sip of alcohol. Make sure they're not going to smoke or not going to do anything. Like, I hope it'll impact them and make them see like what one stupid mistake can cause. After this, I'm just like, I thought about it like in my future, like with my kids and stuff. They're just like, I'll, I'll know for sure that I'm never going to let them even get close to it. Because I know what my parents probably went through today, and that's probably one of the hardest things I've had to do.